Now, upon first glance, you might look at this vehicle and say, Aha! That is a Unimog. But that's where you'd be wrong. It's actually an SUMB MH600. Whatever that is. Now, SUMB stands for, and I am 100% sure I'm going to absolutely butcher this, Simca Unic Marmon Bocket. And it's basically a conglomeration of different companies that pretty much came together to build this and other military style vehicles but before we go on and on and on and on and on and on and on about the name we should probably dig into why we're actually here and that's to test this thing out and see what it's like now i for one am always very interested in realistic vehicles that are very highly detailed when they get added to the game and this one is definitely no exception now, if we look inside the frame rails, there's a lot of detail in here. You can see the detail on the frame, the detail on the actual, like, multiple trailer hitches, detail in the suspension. You can see the connector for the sway bar right there, or more of, like, a sway link, because it doesn't actually go... Does it actually go across? Well, not really. They just have kind of a cross beam in the middle of the frame, and then a bunch of cross beams up here, and then, oh my god... You can see the drive shafts, the exhaust system. It's all there. It's all modeled, and it's all there. However, that's only half the story. Now we have to go and look at the interior, which is also unbelievably detailed and unbelievably cool. This is one of those vehicles that you could drive in the interior view with a wheel, and it would feel solid. It would feel realistic. However... That's only speaking from a visual standpoint. I haven't driven it yet, so we can't speak to that yet. So let's fire it up. Fires up quick. Well, it's actually, it, it, it hops off the line with some decent torque. So now let's see what is on offer here. Let's see, Simca Ford F7 CWM with a, whoa, power to weight rating of A+. Then, you could also go to a Renault 720 SPC, which is a modern diesel man-Renault engine with 115 horsepower. Now, 115 horsepower may not sound like much, but this is also not a very large truck. It's a pretty small rig, honestly. So, let's go for the upgraded gearbox, which is an additional fifth gear and increased max speed, which is always nice. That'll come in handy for the bridge jump test. And then we also have the stock suspension as well as the raised suspension option. And that's actually a very realistic difference in height. I mean, from stock to raised, it's a little bit of a little bit of a lift, a few inches of lift, and it definitely fits hand in hand with the raised suspension heights of the stock vehicles in the base game. So that's another good mark for it there for anybody that wants to use this thing in a modded campaign playthrough. Now Tire-wise, we have the option of a 42-inch ATHS-1, off-road OHS-1 and OHS-2, or a chained MHS-1 all chains. Now, obviously, these are actually, these are really, really cool. And you look at them and also, they've got that classic, classic style wheel that works so well with these types of vehicles. And I think I'm actually going to run the 42-inch OHS-2. Now, the raised suspension obviously doesn't really help you clear bigger tires because you really only have this one option. But it's nice to have the extra bit of clearance for the bumpers. So let's go with the advanced medium winch. And we've already got an engageable diff lock on the vehicle, so we don't really need anything else. We've got an LC 3.8 loading crane option. A flatbed, which is actually a custom job to this vehicle. Van body add-on, which is again another custom job uh, for all of those wilderness repairs that you might need. And you also have a maintenance frame add-on. Now the maintenance frame comes with 240 repair points, one spare wheel, and 117 fuel. The van body add-on comes with only 11 fuel, but you get two spare wheels and 540 repair points. For our testing today, we're going to be going with the flatbed because the flatbed will allow us to test out some cargo hauling capability uh, without making it too top-heavy. We also have several different, well, I say several, two different snorkel options. We have an intake box right here on the side of the hood, and we also have a short round cap. So we'll do that. And then we have, let's see, tall beacon. Oh, oh, so you can actually switch from a soft top to a hard top. And then the, what? What, what add-on does that require? 
I don't understand. Oh my god, you can also take the top off. What? What? I love it. It's a sports truck. This is now this this is now a whole whole new world. This is yeah. I love this. I love this. This is brilliant. I think we're going to run it with the roof off. Now, let's see. With pipes, with winch. Look at that winch. That is a, that is like a proper, proper winch setup. Wow. OHS wheels one and two. I'm going to stick with one because they look really good. And apparently, we have a ton of different paint options out here. Wow. And they all look good. You know what I mean? Like, they, they all... The, the quality... Of all of these paint jobs is really, really nice. I mean, they've got good shine to them. Some of them look like it's come right out of detailing. Like, geez. I could deal with that. Yeah, I could deal with that. It's got like a tan. All right, let's see. Accessories. We don't really have that option. But now, let's leave the garage with our convertible truck. Let's see what this thing is like to drive. Let's also check out the... Whoa! So it will slide. Hey, if it's down to have some fun, so am I. So let's see. It's got flatbed, ramped flatbed, prototype exploration unit, fuel carrier, sideboard, small scout, flatbed, flatbed, maintenance trailer, scout field trailer, and service trailer. So really nice lineup of trailers. I really appreciate the fact that he included a lot of them. And I'll tell you something, driving this with the top off is so cool. The mirrors work. Oh my God, everything works so well. Now, I'm assuming, obviously, that we only get one unit of cargo, and wow, consumables really lower the... Well, wooden planks aren't quite as heavy, so let's do a load of wooden planks. Let's see how they do. Admittedly, it does look a bit strange to be driving down the road in a convertible... In convertible flatbed, but weirder things have happened, right? I'm sure weirder things have happened somewhere, somehow, along the line. But I love how we've kind of started this habit now of doing our first few tests, if not all the tests, with cargo on the back of the trucks. I think that adds a, a new dynamic of really actually a measurable dynamic, measurable-ish dynamic of how they will do in real campaign scenarios. So let's try and climb this hill. it be interesting. I don't know. I'm predicting it gets three quarters of the way and then gives up. Let's see. It gets... Yo, 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 yo! It gets all the way up! Look at this little thing go! That's impressive! I was thinking three quarters of the way up and then it'd be done, but... She moves! She absolutely... God, she absolutely moves out, though. Absolutely moves out. I love this thing, man. Freaking love this thing. Let's see how it does through here. I'm surprised it didn't roll over right there. Uh oh. Whoa! How did it not roll over right there? This is nuts! Okay, we might have it actually stuck now. Nope! We're good! Somehow, the convertible sports truck soldiers on! This is insane! It's doing this with cargo! Oh, well, ish. Oh god, it won't let me pack. It won't let me pack! Ah! Yo, it let me repack it. I am so ow. I, my front end is kind of damaged right now, but I am so impressed with this little thing. We don't even have like sides on the truck, so it could fly off the back at any second, but that's not the point. The point is that it's doing all of these things and just like, you know, bouncing along through the terrain. And I know that it was definitely meant to be realistic, but God, man, it can do some pretty crazy stuff for being a realistic rig. And that's not me saying it's not realistic either. That's just me saying that you can have a blast with this thing. Now, convertible cargo truck mudding. Yes. It's funny because it, I don't know, like, looking at the dash and looking at the interior, 
it, it feels a little bit more like a tractor, almost like, you know, a piece of farm equipment than, it, than like a truck. I mean, and even a, you know, a MTVR or a Deuce and a Half or something like that, the interior feels like a truck. This feels, like I said, more like a piece of farm equipment than a truck for whatever reason. And let me know if you agree with that in the comment section down below because I'm definitely getting the vibes of more farm equipment on this thing. I know it's definitely like a, it's, it's built to be a military vehicle and I get that, but I don't know, just the vibes I'm getting feel very farm equipment to me. So let's throw it into the mud, see how it does through there. In high, it's, it's definitely already starting to spin and struggle a little bit. Which is fine, I'm not downing it for that, but you put it in low plus, throw the diff lock on, and she's golden, she's good to go. I'm making a little bit of a right, oh god, come on, there you go, pull yourself out of there. Pull yourself together. Oh boy. Oh wow, alright. It's actually legit stuck. So that's where that test ends. Oh boy. Well, we can only go forward. That's disappointing. And when I say that's where that test ends, not necessarily like the whole video or anything, but that's where the um, that's where the mud part of the test ends. And yeah, it didn't quite didn't quite finish that second mud lane. It's barely making it through this part, actually. Oh, it's sink. Oh my god. Oh my. Yep, it sputtered to a halt. Okay. Ooh, do you need a rescue? Do you need a rescue truck? Because I've got the rescue truck of all rescue trucks for you, bud. Oh, yes. Yes. Now, come with me. Thank you. I love how this thing is like, okay. Like, what weight? There's no weight back there. There's absolutely none. Like, a, a truck? What's that? I, I don't know. I'm just driving along. Heading to go grab a coffee. Alright, shut that thing down. And while we did find a little bit of a shortcoming of this thing, I mean, again, that's where the realism is really coming in yet again and showing that if you take it into mud that is too deep, you, there, you know, you will pay the price for it. There will be consequences. So, let's go ahead and throw it into low plus and begin the dips obstacle. The short wheelbase sh should help us. I'm hopeful that it'll help us. I don't know if it'll help us very much uh, towards the middle because that's where this will get kind of challenging, but uh, it's still helping us out pretty well. I can, I can dig it. I can get with it. I can dig it. Doing pretty well, doing pretty well, doing pretty... Oh, God. Oh, God. We're back to the... I just threw it in there a little bit too fast, but... It's doing all right. I, I gotta admit, like, for going through there straight on, great job. Now, to finish it off, we repair that engine to make sure we are in tip-top shape. And we head to the bridge. And... I was actually just now thinking about taking the wooden planks off of the back of the truck. But then I thought about it for another second and I was like, you know what? That might bias the weight to the back a little bit and make it fly through the air a little bit more level. Or land a little bit more level. I don't know. I'm hoping it does. We're about to find out one way or another. Alright, let's see. Oh boy. Woo! Oh, it's a little slide! Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Now, granted, I will probably be throwing it into neutral going down the hill because I don't think fifth gear is going to get us going very fast. So, fifth, jumping over the top. All right, oh God, go straight. Go straight. All right, picking up, picking up, picking up speed, picking up speed. Yeeting. Hey, not bad. It, oh god, there is actually a barrel still underneath it, and it's proceeding to sink in the mud. But that's uh, neither here nor there, because we can just go get the cat and rescue it again. But if y'all enjoyed this test, let me know what you thought of this little truck in the comment section down below. I really enjoyed driving it around. It could be a really good addition to a modded campaign playthrough. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it a like, and subscribe if you're new. 
See you guys next time. And also, thank you guys so, so, so much because at the time of recording this video, we have passed 960,000 subscribers, which is, which is just absolutely mind-bogglingly incredible. And I just... I, I can't thank you guys enough. I absolutely cannot thank you guys enough. Y'all are incredible. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.